So recently I've been talking very positively about Occidental, however, let's see the odds of its bankruptcy. I already mentioned in the previous video that Occidental is really dependent on the oil price and because of the oil price war, the oil price dropped from $50 per barrel to $21 per barrel and this really hurts Occidental because their breaking even is $30 right now and anything below that is making them lose money. To understand better this oil price war, let's see the history of oil price wars because this happened in the past. In 1985 the duration of oil price war was 13 months and the price dropped from $31 to $9. In 1997 the duration was 17 months and the price dropped from $20 to $10. In 2014 this is the most recent one and the duration was 22 months and the oil price dropped from $100 to $27. And the one we're having now its current duration is one month only and the price dropped from $50 to only $20. $21 so far. The current oil price is at around $21 and Occidental Petroleum is definitely losing money on this one. However, who is also losing money is Russia and Saudi Arabia. Because although Saudi Arabia production and sale cost is only $17, this country needs $80 to balance their budget. This country is highly dependent on oil and they cannot finance their debt and their public services unless the price of the oil is $80 or more. Russia needs it to be at $42 and US only $35. US is quite efficient producer, however it's the one that is suffering the most from the oil price war because Saudi Arabia companies can still survive with this price and make profit. And Russia, well, it's only speculation but they really insist that they can survive oil price war for a lot of years. One interesting thing is that in 2014 when the oil price war duration was 22 months we can see in this chart that starting from 2014 until 2016 the USA production dropped while Saudi Arabia and Russia continue to produce at the same rate during the oil price war. So we can clearly see that USA is the most affected by this war. Coronavirus is what also affects highly oil price because the mobility is reduced and so is oil consumption. Seth Berkeley is epidemiologist and he predicted that we will be fighting with coronavirus from 12 to 18 months. However, I would also like to see this real data of how long it took China to win against coronavirus. And we can see that it started in 22nd of January and the last bigger outbreak was in 22nd of February. So it was approximately one month. If we see the case of US, it's been already almost one month and we cannot see the end of it. So it really depends how government takes care of it. And I really hope that administration will take measures and finally this will lead into increase of demand in oil and higher prices prices. So having this historical data we can speculate that the crisis time will continue from 12 months till almost two years. The question is can Occidental Petroleum survive that? Occidental Petroleum is being criticized highly because of the acquisition of Anadarko and huge debt in their balance sheet which is 38 billion dollars right now. However they do not need to affront this debt this year. They need to pay around 7 billion dollars every single year for around 5 years. In the Q4 2019 presentation we can see that they are planning to sell these assets for around 10 billion dollars to front 7 billion dollars payment this year. However, we cannot be sure that these assets are still valued in 10 billion dollars because the oil price went down and the buyers might not be so much interested into buying these assets. However, Occidental Petroleum is not only oil based company. We can see that oil production brought them 2 billion dollars in 2019 and 2.5 two and billion dollars in the previous year. However, we can see other products in chemical section which made around 1 billion dollars last year and almost billion dollar this year. So it's about a quarter of their earnings are coming from chemicals which are not so much related with the oil price. And if we go to stock price we can see that the stock went really really down way more down than just three quarters. So there's obvious oversell of their stock. The question about Occidental Petroleum bankruptcy is not so much related with the debt but the ability to sell their assets for fair price. Also we do not know how much their income is affected by this oil price war. 
so I will be looking forward for their financial statements of first quarter of this year and then we'll be able to predict more accurately. The first financial reports of 2020 first quarter we can expect around May. Also let's not forget that Carl Icahn and Warren Buffett are investors in the stock of Occidental. Contrary to common belief, Warren Buffett actually owns 2% of the common stock of Occidental, a part of his $10 billion investment in preferred stock. I am not closing my investments with these odds, I think it's definitely too early to tell. I'm very much looking forward to what's next and I'll bring it to you, so stay tuned and see you next time.